And this is what we call a potter's bench, an entertainment center. It's what I call, um, oh my gosh, these are hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars in fancy outdoor home decor magazines. And we have it here at QVC tonight for $148. In fact, there's even an option to put it on monthly payments of under 30. But you know, Jeff, lots of people are gonna use this to plant their flowers, yep. but not me. You know what I'm using this for? What are you this using? This setup. I mean, there's magazines with b barns in them and pottery in them, and these would be hundreds of dollars. You are correct. That's exactly <laughs> what this, the inspiration of this is, a turn of the century potter's bread. So maybe you'd see in France or. Yes. So what they did is we've taken this and taken that design, we, we ship it to you in a flat box. I want to tell you right off, you're going to do a little uh, assembly to put it together, maybe okay. about 20 minutes, put a few screws in here and there. But what you're going to get is a classic looking potter's branch that normally one side would have dirt in it. And when you would repot your plants, as you saw in the video, you would take the smaller pants, plants and put them into larger pots, but it's become something that's chic to put in your kitchen. You'll see right here, I have our KitchenAid down here. We have some wine bottles. Oh, yeah. my kind of party. And, and a little bit of fruit. Uh, I have a coffee maker down there and just a little kitschy thing right here. I even have a little birdhouse back here. So what it is, is it becomes a real nice design feature. And what you're going to get on top here, I'll show you right over here in a moment, is when you open this up, you have all sorts of storage underneath where normally the soil would go. Yes. Then we have a great little rack on top here, which we have a few flowers on. And then right here, you can hang your mugs, maybe by the barbecue. It's a great place. You can put all your tools for that. And then this little pop-up over here. This comes down if you don't need it. And I'm going the wrong way as usual. <laughs> there we go. And then when you need a little extra room, pop that up. Like I said, this might be your coffee bar inside your house or yes. on a porch. Then that little arm swings out. And it gives you a little extra room. This is a great way also to display all your beautiful Robertas and Cottage Farms plants. Well, talking about indoors and outdoors, can I leave this outside or does it need to be covered? It's made to be left outdoors. I have one that's three to four years old now, it still looks about the same. It, it has a uh, stain on it with a UV coating. Eventually it'll turn to kind of like a teak color, but you can paint this, you can stain this, you can do anything you want. You could stencil it, you can do all kinds of kitschy things that way. But here's the side where you normally would have the soil falling back through. Okay. You maybe want to keep your root blast or your Richard Jackson's, whatever like that. But if you open that other side, Amy, once you do lift that. It up. Oh, look at that. This is another great thing in your kitchen. Nobody has enough storage. There I have some plates, some glasses, some bowls. It, it could be, here's pickles, things like that. Or it's next to your barbecue. When it comes time and the burgers are coming off, yes. grab a plate, put them on, let them go. We never have enough space around our barbecue, really. I wouldn't mind just having some cleaning products, some paper towels for the grill. That's exactly right. Go ahead and leave right. them out there. So this is an, uh, a top or a lid, yep. I was going to say. Then this is the lid. Then you've got all the space underneath. That's you it. have the ledge up top, and you have all the hooks. I mean, you're never going to run out of room with this one. Well, again, it, and it looks so great on a sun porch on your deck. There it is right there in the kitchen with a, with a toaster oven on it. That's what it was made for, potting plants into larger plants. If you go to your florist, you'll see something like this. This is exactly what they do. They mix their soil up with fertilizer and vermiculite. Yes. That's the other thing. You mix them all together, you get ready to put them in the pots. But it became something that all of a sudden went into kitchens and into breezeways and around the house. So that potter's bench became something that was considered really a nice piece of furniture to put in your house. Well, it's interesting, Jeff. Um, if you're an antiquer, my folks are, and so I've kind of gotten into it, or maybe a shabby chic lover, or just the flea market find, the yard sale kind of guy or gal, you'll find these a lot, and they're so much more money than yeah. 150 They usually are used and abused, and white paint is chipping all over them, and maybe there's a big gash out of the wood, or maybe they don't have the extra storage that this one will offer. This is such a better bet. Now, what if I do love white furniture, or yeah. like a mossy green, or a baby blue. Could I paint this? You absolutely could paint it. The, the way I think is the easiest way to do it is get some sort of transparent stain. Okay. And then you can just slap it on that. I do, I've done it myself. So you get a little of the wood grain showing through. You know, a paint, you hide the wood grain. When you have really beautiful wood, it's mm -hmm. nice to see a little bit of, of the wood it come is. through. So that's what I would do. Again, you're, right here we have six square feet on top. Okay. Six square feet on this shelf. Six square feet there. When you pop up that side, it gives you an extra, extra two square feet. And then this is 12 inches deep, which is going to give you all that storage inside. Again, I have the uh, KitchenAid under here. I have the toaster. One thing in my house is I do not have enough counter space. It's just life. And maybe right. this is an espresso bar. We heard someone doing that. They'd put all oh, their coffee. Fine. So in the morning, 
this is where they come down to in the morning. They have their coffee and their cream and all that sort of stuff. Yes. So it's, it's really unlimited to what you can do with it. You, your imagination will tell you what you want to do. Well, again, you've got that easy pay. So please don't forget about that. I mean, it's how I make a lot of my purchases here at QVC. You might have had no plans to wake up at 3.30 in the morning or stay <laughs> up until 3.30 at night, depending on how you look at it. And, you know, spend $148, but you love it. And you know you need it, and you know you'll have it for years to come, whether it's on that deck or on the patio or in the house. So just use your easy pay. You'll do monthly payments of $30, $29.62. The shipping and handling is $21.72. And then Jeff is estimating that it's about 20 minutes of assembly. But 20? once it's together, I mean, look at it for the parties, all the space it gives you. Well, th that looks like a party at a frat house, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> I would do something a little more elegant. But there it is, all the sodas uh, out there, all the things that you need, there's in the house again. So you have that storage underneath. That's the traditional way for potting your plants. If you really, if you're getting the Robertas and all these great things, you're probably going to use it that way. Yes. But if not, it's it will go in your house. Like I said, it's an extra piece in your kitchen, on your sun porch. Just picture this all with flowers. I have a few flowers here. Have them all displayed going down. Oh, it pretty. can't look any better because there's something about natural wood. Yes. And this is all natural wood. This is not any sort of formica or anything like that. These are natural wood panels that have been kiln dried. It's a 60 day process from when they get into the factory. So it's not gonna split, it's not gonna splinter. So it's just gonna look great year after year. I mean, think of it as furniture. You not only will have it year after year, like Jeff said, but just think about all the times when you have a gathering that you'll be like, oh, thank goodness we have our potter's bench. I imagine this in my parents' backyard. They have a patio that we are constantly on all spring, all summer. We don't want to go anywhere else but their yard for our entertaining. <laughs> yeah. And I mean, my mom could decorate it with little potted plants up here. Yes. Then she listens to her music. She loves Adele. She loves like some fun, um, fast music when we're out there dancing. She's obsessed with Sam Some Smith right now. Some fast music, I like yeah. that. Yeah, <laughs> so she could have her, her music out there, then we could all have our drinks out there, right. and then she could always keep her paper plates, her napkins, the plastic forks and knives in there, That's and then it. you're not going in and out and in and out. Your charcoal maybe goes, who knows what you're gonna put in. Like I said, your imagination is gonna, you know what you need it for at home. These are just a few ideas. Like I said, whether you're gonna make it a coffee bar, whether it's for near the barbecue, whether you're serving lemonade, or maybe you put a big vat with beer and wine in there for yes. when you have a party. There's just so many things you can do with it. Use your easy pay. You have five months to break down your payments, but you get it immediately. M41292.